this right here is how great men fall. When they are tested with power, when they are tested with lifting, when they are tested with the anointing, when God begins to lift you and sudden lifting come overnight, chances are that you will forget. Deuteronomy chapter 8, don't turn there. It says, let it not be that when you have built houses, when you have done all these things, you will say, my power and my might has gotten this. He said, but thou shall remember. Listen, it's not only God alone that has a book of remembrance. Men must have books of remembrance. When David stood before Goliath, he said, the God who delivered me I remember what happened. The God who delivered me from the bear, delivered me from the lion today. He would deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. Forget not. Forget not that he took you from nothing. Forget not that there were 10 of you in your family and you are the first to rise now. Forget not that it was, you, you started rising before you knew anything about favor. Forget not. Let's just stay here and let me teach you something very powerful, my brothers and my sisters. A man who can remember is a man who can be sustained. A man who can remember the faithfulness of God. Remember where you were yesterday. Remember the hand that lifted you. That is the man that will never go down. Pastors forget. Businessmen forget. Years ago, I remember I watched a Nigerian film. Of a village girl who was loved by a wealthy man. I don't know the name of the film. I don't even know who acted it. Are we together now? And he picked this village girl. I think she was selling something. Granotos. You know the way they do Nigerian films. And he saw her and liked her and picked her. His parents insulted him. He said, kill me. I will marry this village girl. And then like 11 years or so down the line. She had become the wife of this man. And there was another village girl who was a house help. In that house and this one's village girl ill-treated this woman ill-treated the young girl until one time I think she got blind or paralyzed or something and when she was paralyzed it was the small girl that stayed with her in the hospital and then a pastor came to pray for her for uh, uh, healing or something and then she began to remember that all of this and that and that then the long and short of the Nigerian film is that she later discovered that that girl was her sister the little girl I think the, maybe the mother had the child somewhere or so that was her sister that she was ill treating let me tell you this the bliss of the palace made the butler to forget the bliss of greatness the applause of men. You know, most people sit down and say, what is there in fame? What? No, 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 no. There is a reason why remembrance is necessary. You want sustainable anointing? You want sustainable impact? Please learn to remember. You need to have a book of remembrance that is in the similitude of that which is on the throne. I remember that 10 years ago when I was nothing, this gentleman came. I remember when I was soaking Gary, for instance, you will say, I remember. So that you don't see him 10 years later and push him. No. There are mistakes you make when you are outside of the palace. It does not matter. If you make those mistakes in the palace, you will pay for it. First, she could make any mistake outside the palace and go scot free. But now this mistake on the throne would cost her so much. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Thou shalt remember. Many have forgotten their fathers. 
Many have forgotten their mothers. Many have forgotten those who played all kinds of roles in their lives. Many have forgotten the God that lifted them. Many have forgotten the hand that helped them. Please listen to what I'm telling you. God is speaking to someone here. That a man can rise so high that the scar of yesterday's pain can so erode from your life and your mind. It will never look like you were there. It will never look like you ever climbed a bike in your life. It will, it will never look like you soaked Gary. I know sometimes we are excellent people, but sometimes we allow the deception of success to so swallow us that we lose the ability to forget. I have learned as a personal principle that modesty is the closest way to remember. When you live a life that is modest, temperate, the Bible calls it, that he that strives for mastery is temperate. That means define boundaries. It was a mistake Solomon made. He refused to be temperate. By the time we get to Ecclesiastes, Solomon was a man who was utterly lawless and careless. See, let me tell you this. I believe in prosperity. I believe in all the blessings of God. But look at me, believers. There is only so much cloth you can wear. There is only so much food you can eat. Are we together now? This is all the stomach you have. Another one will not come from anywhere. Thank God for all the cars you will have. You will not remove one leg and put it in one jeep and remove your head and put it in another car. The way we approach success, if not guided by these mysteries, many people will fall by the wayside. This is why you find out, uh, respectfully speaking, this is true for men of God, it's true for business people, it's true for politicians. They begin to run and when the whole world is watching suddenly they vanish out of thin air the mistake of Haman and the wisdom of Mordecai are two lessons we must learn Mordecai rides on a horse the king's horse that honor is an honor that I don't think even the queen had and when Mordecai dropped he said thank you Haman he returned back to the king's gate that's where they found him was it not on your knees the anointing found you have you returned back <laughs> was it not in the place of fasting and prayer that grace met you was it not in the place of dedication where you will roll like this my dear brother that was rolling left and right I'm sure for some of you that was so embarrassing this guy is falling his hand so uh a deceptive approach to life tells us. Listen, if you were lifted on your knees, remain on your knees. If you were lifted while singing his praise, remain singing his praise. It's very uncomfortable to remain on your knees when the world is watching you. It's embarrassing. You are not that naive. You should stand so you can shine. Apostle Joshua Selman, the man of God, anointed. But when you remember that if God forgets you, anything can happen to you. When God forgets you, anything can happen. It's a lesson. We're still going to move on, but I need you to get this. Listen, I have shared this for years and told people be careful I have warned many people in my life and said if, if you don't pay attention with the way you are managing success you will fall by the wayside it was not prophecy some of them thought it was nonsense nonsense and today sadly speaking many of them have gone down as if it was not God that lifted them do you know the higher you rise the more slippery the path is A day can come when you will even be ashamed to roll before God. Why will I roll my designers on the ground in the presence of kings and in the presence of nobles? 
this was the mistake that Saul's daughter made that made her remain barren when David it was time to take the ark David danced and danced and rejoiced like a fool and the daughter of Saul said king you are no longer a shepherd you are carrying a stupid bush mindset you want to embarrass yourself you are no longer a, you are a king act like royalty and he said I'm dancing before God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me and the Bible says God had that conversation when God had that conversation no matter what would have happened she wouldn't have given birth because an indignation rose I continue to tell God I say Lord I remain your boy -o. huh I am other people's father I am other people's mentor I am other people's role model thank God for that but I remain your boy you will always meet me where you found me Adam where are you I heard thy voice but I hid because I was naked he said her man let's continue say it please her man hasted to his house mourning crying and having his head covered next verse and her man told Zeresh his wife and all his friends everything that had befallen him and said his wise men and Zeresh listen then said his wise men and Zeresh his wife unto him if Mordecai be the seed of the Jews before whom thou hast begun to fall thou shall not prevail against him but shall surely fall before him that means this mistake you have made Mordecai is the seed of the Jews there are commandments that have been given the Jews to not forget if Mordecai is a true Jew and will remember those ordinances you are finished because the factors that should make him fall and give way will not happen again your doom is true look at this Mordecai once at the gate now I, I want to save us time because you read later on you find out that her man was hung at the gallows all kinds of things began to happen in his life culminated by Esther's declaring to the king that this man wanted to destroy her people and the king went to his garden to think like any wise leader would do to not be hasty in speech and then he came and knelt down and was begging her and when the king came it looked like he was trying to rape the wife and the king said not only have you annoyed me you are now trying to rape my wife go and hang this guy the gallows was there waiting for them and they hung him there and that was the end of it and then eventually Mordecai was honored to take the place of Haman in the palace and that ends the story of Esther listen carefully there are two women only in scripture whose names became the books of the Bible and their names were written there so that we will remember what they did the two names Ruth and Esther were put in the Bible the two women did the same thing notice that in all cases it had to do with men it had to do with marriage and it had to do with the power of submission the power of loyalty the power of not trivializing the things that God can do and the remembrance that follows Ruth remembered her mother-in-law and said I'm not leaving you your God will be my God your people will be my people and because she stayed and remembered how this woman was nice to her as a mother-in-law she led her and advised her to a field of a wealthy man called Boaz are we together now yes and Boaz saw her and loved her and took her I hope it is very interesting because for Esther she had never married but for Ruth she lost her husband and now an opportunity was coming again remembrance the book of remembrance that archives the works of the saints 
and that there is a reward system attached to it and that once you can invoke the mystery that will make God remember now take note he is not remembering because he's forgotten he's remembering because it is part of the ordinances of heaven for administering justice remembrance let me show you a scripture I found that really really changed my life and then I'll give you two keys and we'll pray never forget this scripture for the rest of your life Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14 please read with me everyone is projected if you can see Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14 one to read remember me oh my God concerning this stop 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 that means you can take any matter to God and provoke remembrance concerning this you can put your this there concerning my finances concerning my family situation concerning my joblessness concerning the tragedy happening you can go before God and say remember me oh my God concerning this and wipe not my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for the offices thereof when the Lord showed me this scripture I remember crying like a baby I said this is powerful Lord do not wipe these good deeds with all humility you can go before God Lord I have served Lord I am a faithful worker I stand before God it is true that I clean the seats Lord I stand before you that you can go concerning this this is how to petition the parliament of heaven remember concerning this and all that I have done do not wipe it out for the house of the Lord and for the offices thereof so God remembers and every time God remembers God acts 